You just found the CNC Tech YouTube channel. Hi there. Chad again from CNC Tech. Man, does it feel like it's been a long time since I've done this. And it has. I think I looked at my YouTube channel and it's been about nine months since I posted the last video. In that time, life takes over, kids go to college, holidays come around, and other priorities have had taken over. But I'm going to try to solve that now. I've been working with my buddy Big D from Hobby of Hours on his YouTube channel, and he is motivating me to try to get this kicked back off. So today, I thought to kick things off again, I would address this mess behind me. I decided to follow the clickbait. I don't know if you want to call it clickbait, but I see a product on social media channels called Salt's Gone. And it claims to be a product that you can spray on, wash off, and it neutralizes the salt. It came from the marine industry for saltwater vessels. Um, all the research I did uh, seems to support that it's a good product, but I thought I would do a quick unboxing. I just got my delivery yesterday, and we're gonna give this a go, just, you know, without anything technical, and uh, see what this thing looks like after a treatment of it. Let's go open the box up, see what came in the box that I ordered, and we'll give it a go. Okay, Salt's Gone had a, I think it was an end of the year or Christmas special, I'm not sure. They had a percentage off on their website. With free shipping, I believe it was over $100. So I, I put an order together that would get me free shipping and get me enough material for myself and uh, my buddy Alan to try. And there's a funny story about that that later but here is the the box that I got yesterday I'm gonna open it up good bubble wrap packing got my packing list I ordered a gallon of their material and it is I believe one to 100 meaning one gallon should make uh, 100 appliable gallons of uh, salts gone uh, treated water to treat your vehicles so you get an instruction sheet basically that says four pumps in the sprayer that I ordered that's a good segue uh, they like to have themselves tagged in social media so I will probably do that regardless of what the results are I'm gonna be honest about what I think so, this is what you get gallon of salts gone instant salt remover and protectant pH neutral that's one of the things I looked for uh, any car products that you're using to take care of the finish of your car um, ideally should be pH neutral that won't uh, at least it shouldn't affect any time quickly your wax coatings your ceramic coatings uh, shouldn't affect bare aluminum wheels uh, things like that a pH neutral solution is is always safest uh, okay so we've got two pumps that fit in the gallon jug that's nice because my experience is uh, usually these come either broken or they will break easily uh, when knocked over so it's nice that they gave two got a nice salts gone sticker that'll probably end up on my toolbox and I ordered two hand pump sprayers with extended nozzles this is what they offer on their website as a package so this was a special package a gallon and a box uh, or a sprayer I'm not 
quoting prices because as I said there was an end of the year discount and if that is no longer valid when you see this I don't want anybody to be disappointed I also ordered a second sprayer because as I said um, this one gallon should make a hundred gallons and uh, my buddy and I Alan are going to test this stuff out and the funny story is I sent him a text on Christmas Day when I ordered this stuff in some downtime uh, between family activities he didn't look at it and two days later he decided to order the same thing because we had talked about this product so I think we have enough product uh, in our possession to last quite some time so I hope it works and I hope it does what, we're, what we want it to all right well that's what we got in the box I'm going to take a minute and uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's unbox a sprayer. We're unboxing, we might as well. So we'll do the unboxing of the Solo sprayer. Here's your sprayer. It's plastic, plastic construction, which, which may be good for uh, the salt environment they'll be using it in. It, it feels well made. The sprayer tip it's adjustable has a shield this looks to be stainless steel which is nice so that won't easily break if it was if it was plastic looks like we have a plastic extender um, to get even further I'm gonna say under a vehicle or up into higher tighter places and you have an instruction pamphlet the sprayers two liters according to the box so we'll see how long you know two liters of the material lasts uh, you got a spare parts list as well as all of your your operating instructions looks fairly simple to assemble as you can see fairly intuitive I didn't have to read the instruction manual probably should always read the instruction manual when you're doing something new but you know for a YouTube video what fun is that if I look stupid for not reading the instructions maybe you'll learn something and have a laugh <laughs> all right so we got our sprayer put together I am going to get the pump put in the uh, salt gone jug I'm going to get uh, a sprayer full of water I'll mix it up and get to spray. Solo sprayer full of tap water. I filled it up to about here. There's no max fill uh, line on the bottle. And as I said, the instructions are still in the box. So we're gonna follow the only instructions I read and use four pumps, get it primed. So here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm going to give it a little bit because that first pump wasn't a full pump. Get our sprayer. Put together. Stop, right that's got to be in the instructions if it's not it should be a little test spray there we go I almost sprayed you sorry about that all right let's uh, move some stuff around here and get rolling so I can obviously always wash the Jeep but here's the stuff that I'm worried about you know places where I can't absolutely get a brush easily you know you can see the suspension is just caked with salt 
you know, and I can't get up under there real easily with a with a brush or a, a wash mitt. And I do have something that I use and have used for a number of years. And I'll show you that in a minute. So, you know, there's an example. I do use a pressure washer. This is the one that I have now. But I also use, this is a pressure washer broom. I got this at Lowe's. There's the, the brand. And so this thing is a broom that rolls along like this to clean your driveway or your hard surfaces. But the connection articulates with this. And I have it set up so that you hook your pressure washer up like this and the jets point up and you roll it in and out underneath your vehicle to clean the undercarriage. And it soaks it down pretty good, but even with 3300 PSI, as far as this is off the ground, it doesn't hit with a whole lot of pressure. It does a whole lot better on cars like this that are only four or five inches off the ground. So we're gonna see if I can spray down uh, the undercarriage of the Jeep with the salts gone. Then we'll come back with the sprayer, the pressure washer, and see what it all looks like. Okay, so this didn't say to pre-rinse or anything. I'm gonna spray it on as is. And when I say it didn't say, the couple videos that I watched didn't say. So I'm gonna spray this on. I'm gonna start underneath so that I'm not crawling around in the wet, on the wet ground. I am on my third sprayer full of material salts gone and I can and I've gone all around the bottom of the the Jeep and I gotta say you know for just the amount of liquid that's coming out of the sprayer I do see a difference I mean it is not white and crusty like it was I mean, that's no dirtier than it normally looks, you know, after driving in the rain. So, two containers full to do the undercarriage. Now I'm gonna start on the body and then we'll get the pressure washer going. How about some POV action? Talk about eye-hand coordination. I don't know whether to look at the camera, look at the spray wand, look at both. I'm obviously not doing a great job of it. Oops, good thing that's plastic. Get down in the nooks and crannies. I'm hoping because this material is basically water, as thin as water, that it's going to leach into all the really tight joints. Pull out my engineering term, capillary action. 
All right, so I decided to do a bit of an experiment. I sprayed this side, or this side of the truck, the bed up to that wet spot with the salts gone. And since I have another identical sprayer, this has plain water in it. And I'm gonna spray this with plain water and let it dry just to see if there's a difference in look between the salts gone treated surface and the plain water treated surface. I can already tell the plain water is beading because of my coating that's on there. The salts gone spray didn't do that. So let's let that dry and see what it looks like. The Jeep's hood has a pretty good lip seal along the front of it. But as you can see, you know, it still gets salt underneath. And I try to keep it nice, so we're going to treat this as well. Let's go see how our test is doing over here. It's not drying as fast, but see all the beads? That's, I think, from my coating and the salt that's on there. You come back here, I hit this a little bit to wet it again with the salts gone, just to try to see the difference. Here you go, I'll show you. There's no beads at all. So it's definitely doing something. I'm going to go ahead and spray this side down with the salts gone and then I'm going to get the pressure washer going because I'm losing the sun. This is going to be a little bit loud, but here's how this undercarriage sprayer works. Okay, everybody, I literally just shut the pressure washer off after going around the whole Jeep. And I gotta say, I mean, it's not as clean as wiping it with, you know, a cloth wash. But from the way it started, it's looking promising. I do think the salt's gone helps. Now we'll see as I go through the winter and continue to use it how I think it ends up looking with a, as far as rust. This Jeep's only a year old and it's only been through one winter and I have pressure washed it as often as possible throughout the winter. So once it dries completely, I want to see what it looks like. I'm not going to take a chamois or a towel or anything to it. I want to see what it looks like air dry. So it was nice to have a 60 degree day 
at the end of December. New Year's Eve is tomorrow and uh, it's a rarity here to have this kind of weather so I wanted to take the opportunity and get the Jeep cleaned off. As I said I'm going to wait till it air dries on its own. I'll give you my roundup of comments and, and what my thoughts are after I get a chance to take a look at everything once it dries off. The undercarriage, the body, and so forth. So stay tuned for some closing thoughts. Hopefully I get to see it before I lose all the sun. If not, I'll uh, take a look in the morning and let you know what I think. I'm, uh, I'm glad to be back. Hope to be filming some more videos. In fact, if you can see the back end of that white truck in the garage, that's the next project. That's my 93 C1500. Found that thing, it's really clean. It's a V6 five speed and uh, that's soon to change. So follow along uh, on the channel. The side-by-side -side and the trailer are gone. Wasn't getting used enough and too much money to sit around. So those two items are gone and that white truck is the next project. Okay, here we go as it's drying off. Where the Jeep was fairly clean before the salty roads got a hold of it it looks pretty good I mean there's no real residue or anything left behind where the Jeep was really really bad really really dirty you can see there's some some dirt residue left behind but for not washing it with a mitt I'm not real disappointed I, you can see I kinda there's a little bit of residue left there, but all in all, I am pretty pleased uh, so far. There's not a whole lot of uh, real heavy anything left. Uh, I think I might have missed with the pressure washer there a little bit. Might hit that again before I put everything away for the evening. I think it's probably as good as I expected it to be. Um, you can see that's where water ran out from behind the door handles. Uh, that always happens. So that's a combination of salt and water and salt gone. So, you know, I can wipe that off pretty easily. Underneath, um, I'm, I'm real happy with, you know, to me, the light is tough right now, but if you remember before, this was like crusty, salty, covered, and that's that's as clean as I've had this just, you know, washing it during the summer. So, I'm going to give it a so far so good. I'll continue to use it. and see what I think and as of right now I'm not disappointed that I bought it being completely upfront and honest looking at the videos that basically inspired me to look into this product and buy it the results are fantastic I mean you know they show salty stuff you you know spray this stuff on wash it off and it looks immaculate and you know in the video like here that looks pretty good you know and then you get up close and you can see some of the, the things that I talked about but you know I'd say that's marketing but video always uh, makes things look just a little bit better and I'm gonna say that's the case uh, here as well I'm happy I'm gonna continue to use it um, you know check it out for yourself and see what you think so far so good as always like subscribe hit that bell and uh, hopefully you're gonna be seeing a lot more coming from me soon thanks for watching later